is going on. Um, so, one of the common problems with uh, fifth gens is the uh, hard start after the car has been warm um, or hot. Uh, the starter gets heat soaked and the cars always have a hard start um, once the car has already been ran. So, I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you two things that I'm going to do that I've read and researched that I hopefully will fix this issue. I'm already working on the car, so now is the perfect time to do it. Um, if you need to do it, it's, it's really not too bad even if your car is together, but as I'm working on my car, I wanted to do this as like a little side thing. Um, so the first thing is adding a ground to your car. So I ordered this, um, it's just a ground strap and it already has the ends on it. So I just ordered a universal ground strap and, and it was an AC Delco. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take extra ground from the engine to the chassis. So I think I'm just gonna go from here and I'm gonna ground strap it to here. So some people say, I guess the ground isn't very sufficient um, when it gets hot. So adding an extra ground might alleviate that, that problem. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the starter. I'm gonna wrap my starter um, with heat wrap. So it, ha it has a really dinky um, little heat shield on it from the factory. And um, we're gonna take that off and we're gonna just put a nice little layer of heat wrap on there. Um, some people do the thermal, the thermal wrap. I guess you get it for like 20 bucks, $25. But I had this laying around and this is like what they use for you know turbos and stuff. Um, this stuff works really well and I'm just gonna do like a nice thin layer of this so I think these two are gonna hopefully solve that issue because I know every time I'm driving and I go stop at the gas station I always have a hard start and I really need to see if this if this helps um, before I wear my starter out and it's completely useless so I'm going to go under and I don't have a lift today so I'm going to jump under there I'm going to pull the starter and then uh, we'll wrap this up real quick and it doesn't make any sense to put this back on so I went ordered a new starter that took a couple of days to get here so that got here and instead of using this metal heat shield that conducts heat and doesn't really do anything um, cause the headers even flow right here anyway. Um, I went and heat wrapped the new starter with actual like turbo heat wrap tape and just put a clamp on it. This is at the bottom. So I don't have to worry about the clamp being too big or in the way. And, uh, we're going to put that on just like that. So no sense in while the pan's off and it's easy to get to there's no sense of putting the old one on uh, so we're gonna get this on here now uh, so that'll be the first step to alleviating the hard starts when the car is hot get this nice and tight <laughs> should we hold that yeah, I guess we'll try to feed it this way. I'll try to help feed the wires up. Uh, I'll try to hold it and then these. I guess we'll see if you can get those started. Yeah. Okay. Starters on. Look how close it is to the headers. Looks good though. Should help resist some of that. Heat. We'll give one last little. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're plugged in. 
starter cables on and we're good to go there so starter is done So, um, like, I, like I said before, uh, I had an issue with the, the starter for the longest time. Uh, it, it never died, but it always just gave me hard starts. As soon as the car got up to temperature, if I come to get gas, it would be room, and then it would it would turn over. But it would always give me a hard start, and I was always waiting, you know, till I got left stranded. So, like, I knew the starter wasn't bad completely i just knew it was getting heat soaked and it was always having to hard start so let's start it up we'll see up to temperature with the new starter setup um it should hopefully it starts up okay Just shut it off. Uh, let's just see how it starts uh, hot. 